So we mentioned healthy for our kids. How healthy is this dish that we're looking at? Well, Are there ways to make it healthier. If yeah, really you could certainly us? leave out some of the butter. Um, you could trim a little bit more of the fat off the ham if you right. wanted to. You could certainly use different uh, different meats. Um, you could add whatever you wanted to to this. You right. know, um, some fresh green peas um, or even frozen green peas at the end would go nicely. The rice is uh, a really neutral background. You can add really whatever you want to it. Sure. You know? Now, you mentioned that you went to the uh, Culinary Institute at, uh, at Opryland. Uh-huh. Uh, what got you even interested in cooking to begin with? You know, I come from a pretty big family. I'm one of five kids, and I figured out that the easiest way for me to make sure that we had what I wanted for dinner was to cook it. <laughs> but I mean, and it led to a great career. Yeah, and I'm super, super happy that mom and dad were so supportive of it. And if you got kids watching, listen, two men in the kitchen. It That's doesn't right. always have to be mom That's or right. grandma. That's right. We can do just as good a job, and in some cases, better. Yeah. Well, my mom is still the best cook that I know. You know, yeah. critics come into Acorn Restaurant. That's no problem. Yeah. When mom, grandma, and right. most people come in, yeah. then you're in trouble, right? While this is still finishing up cooking here, we will uh, start our prawns. Our, so I'm sorry, we're going to start our what? Our prawns. Our, our uh, Tennessee prawns. freshwater shrimp. Oh, that's what I like to hear. Yeah, and if you would, the prawns are right there in the refrigerator. All right. So we got our pan going here. We're going to let that get a little hot again. We're going to go with just a little butter. And while that's melting, maybe I get you to do me one more favor. I'd be more than happy to, Andy. That's why I'm here. You just tell me what to do. All right, we're going to... Pretend like I'm your wife. We're going to... Okay. Never um, mind. That's yeah, probably not good. That'd okay. be different. <laughs> um, but if you'll grab the box grater there, okay. and then what we have here is this is uh, um, a uh, goat cheese gouda okay. from uh, Noble Springs Dairy, uh, just just near Franklin, Tennessee, just just uh, south oh, of Nashville. Right here in Tennessee. That's right. Okay. So if you'll just grate a little bit of this for me. All right. Can I be honest with you, Andy? Yeah. I have a confession to make. I've, yeah. I've, I've never I've never grated cheese before. Well, in my life. And okay. Um, then I'll. If you, I'll <laughs> Some assistant I am. Yeah. But I, I, I'm assuming you just run it down yeah. through. Why don't here, I right? just show you just to make sure? Well, um, and then, uh, I we'll want to learn these things. Okay, so we're just going to push it like that. That's it. That's it? Okay, I can do Same that. Let thing me in with, there. I'm in here. Same thing with the knife. Put me in, coach. I'm in. Keep your fingers back. All right. We're grading cheese. Yeah. See, again, the whole point of the Green Galley and Live Green Tennessee, if I can do it, anybody can. Just give that cheese a little taste. It's, uh, it's oh, really, absolutely. really good. I've not met any cheese that I don't like. Yeah. And our rice is really, really close Ooh, that's here. very good. This is where it gets exciting. Let's jump in. All right, so we've got our prawns here. And we peeled them, just left the tails on. We're going to put those right in the butter. And these things cook pretty quickly. They jump a, a little bit. Yeah. yeah. One thing about country ham, you know, it's really, really um, uh, well seasoned. It's got a lot of salt in it. So we want to be real careful with that between the stock okay. and the rice there. But these prawns, we can definitely season them. So we're going to hit them with a little salt. Just regular table salt? Yep. It's Well, I use kosher salt. It's okay. just a little uh, um, easier to judge. Right. And then I have some fresh ground white pepper here. Um, and white pepper is a little stronger than black pepper. So these cook really quickly. So we're just going to turn them. Um, it has a definite sweetness. The texture is a little more in line with the with the um, uh, uh, lobster than it is with the oh. traditional shrimp. Okay. Um, they're also really really good for people who are allergic to shrimp. Most of the time, when people find they're allergic to shrimp, they're allergic to the iodine that's found in them. Um, and these, um, you know, li you like I say, that. yeah, they don't have that. Okay. All right. So we turned our shrimp off. So if you want, you can just go ahead and throw all that cheese right in here. Oh yes, and this is excellent cheese. I can't believe the the, uh, the products, all of these products you found, you know, right here in Tennessee. Well, if you just get out there and look a little bit, it's easy to find these things. It's not only better products, better tasting products, but it, it's helping the local economy and Absolutely. local farmers. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now this, yeah. I think my three-year-old would try this because yeah. it look, you know, you got a little mac and cheese look here. Yep, exactly. Like we'll send some home for you. <laughs> Good. Grab the green onions. We'll go ahead and fold right. these in there. And just, just go ahead, dump it right in. All right, here we go. Now, Acorn Restaurant, is that a place we need to call for reservations? It's, uh, we definitely accept walk-ins. We love reservations. Is yeah. there a website that they can go to to learn more about the Acorn Restaurant? Yeah, they sure can if you go to uh, theacornrestaurant.com. Uh, and uh, while you're online, make sure that you go to wcte.org slash livegreen because we'll have the uh, recipe there for you straight from Chef Andy. And yeah. I appreciate you sharing that. I mean, a lot of chefs won't oh, reveal all their secrets. It's my pleasure. I, 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 don't, I don't have any secrets. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I think we're all set here. If okay. you would... Um, Hand me one of those two bowls there. We'll go oh, ahead and get you set up. Oh, I like it when you say it's bowl time. Yeah. All right, very good. Wow, so, again, we really can good. go appetizer or entree, however much you want to put on there. I made a little bit of a mess here, but that's all right. It's okay. You're in the right place, yeah. man. My we'll life take is all about the mess. A okay. couple of these. 
There you go. And see, the thing about these dishes is not only are you promoting local uh, Tennessee farmers, you're helping them, helping the local economy, but are you kidding me? That is going to impress your neighbors when yeah. they come over for some yeah. dinner. Yeah. You know, what are you having? Oh, we're having ham risotto. Yeah. It, looks it sounds a lot more difficult than it is. All right. I'll let you catch up here. but No, I'm no, go right ahead. Go right ahead. Can I go ahead? Yeah, please do. All right. Wow. Now, it, do you suggest getting a little of both? It's a complete dish, so you want to get some of everything, but uh, mm. um, definitely if you haven't had the prawns before, I'd get a little bite of that by itself just so you understand what's wow. going on. That is excellent. Mm. There it is. Excellent. Excellent. Chef Andy, thank you very it's much. It's my pleasure. You guys stop in and see Acorn Restaurant. Let Chef Andy make this or any of the other fine dishes for you there. Again, thanks for always being a part of the Green Galley and for Living Green, Tennessee.